So I went to use my trusty little power meter. You know, it keeps track of the kilowatt hours used and the amount of energy um, any appliance or item that you plug into it uh, consumes. And uh, it doesn't work. I've been using this thing for years. It has a battery system in it, and I suppose that I think that's what's wrong with it. And uh, so I went to take it apart to see what's wrong, and they use security bits in the back of it to make it impossible to take apart. Well, nothing is impossible to take apart, but anyways, if you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but there's these uh, flat blade uh, screwdriver bits in there, but they have a little bump in the middle of them. Well, I have a security bit set that has the bit for that. But the problem is they're so deep into the uh, package that <clears throat> they don't reach the head of the bit or the screw. So I took a Phillips screwdriver bit, which I save all the ones I break and uh, or wear out, and uh, I ground the t end of it down and the sides of it down so it would fit in this package. I ground them down on the belt sander. And then I took a Dremel and notched the end of it out so I have a nice little uh, long security bit for these specific screws. And it fits down into the package and engages the screw head. So I'm going to take it apart and see if I can figure out what's wrong with it. And we'll go from there. So I just took the screws out of it and uh, this is what they look like. So you get a good idea of what the security bit is. And um, I just took these out of here and I'm going to pop it open and see what's wrong with it. So I got it apart and I'm checking the circuit out and there's a uh, little battery backup in the um, circuit that uh, should be a 3.6 volt battery but when I measure it I get about 1.6 volts across it so there's a shorted or damaged cell in this uh, battery pack I luckily happen to have a different battery pack to replace it with it's a twice the size twice the capacity of this battery pack so um, the one that's originally in here is a 40 milliamp hour and I have a 80 milliamp hour to replace it with I'm going to replace it and see if uh, that actually fixes the problem. So when you're going to replace a battery pack like this, a little nickel metal hydride battery, um, you should denote which end is the plus on the battery pack. Sometimes it'll be silk screened on the board, but on this one it's not. So I just have to remember it's on the right side. And I had to take out two screws, pull the circuit board down, and I'm going to desolder the battery pack from the bottom here and replace it. So I soldered that monster into the, the board. It was a little bit larger and uh, I just left the uh, pin sticking out just a little bit so I could make it fit. And look, the power meter actually works now. So that looks like that may have been the problem. And I'm going to go put it back together and plug it in and see if it's measuring correctly. So when putting it together, you got to make sure that uh, everything goes back together correctly. These uh, came loose uh, when I had the board out. So you just push them back into the slots and make sure they uh, aren't in the way of anything, like the screw posts back together so nothing gets pinched and everything goes back together correctly and uh, so let me finish putting it back together and plug it in all right so the easiest way to test one of these is to take a known 100 watt bulb you know 60 watt bulb whatever and connect it to a watt meter and I've set it to the watt function I'm gonna turn it on here and as you can see uh, 98.2 watts, which, uh, you know, a 100 watt bulb is not going to be 100 watts. Uh, it depends on the power coming in, the voltage. And um, 
it's pretty close so I'm gonna say this is a success and it worked thanks for watching